In this tutorial, I'll quickly show you how to create 3D path for moving equipment. The main condition here is equipment should be assigned to a task. For example, we have concrete piling. Select task and go to the resources. Have a bulk run assigned. So we would like to see how this crane will be moving while they're executing the task. To do that, we need to create a 3D path. From the 3D panel, 3D path, open 3D paths. Let's create a 3D path. Click create. And if the snapping is not active, make sure you selected it. Go to the snapping and make sure this magnet is selected. And now let's draw the path for the crane movement. Start drawing it by double clicking our left mouse key. Then it will go somewhere here, then here. Here. So by doing a double click, we're drawing a path for our crane. In order to quit from the path creation, make a right click or any field, and the path will be created. Make a right click or a new path and select rename. So let's name it Concrete Piles Crane Path. And now what we have to do is we need to select the task, the resource, adjust appearance profile, for us it will be equipment, then scroll down until the 3D path. And from this drop down, Select the 3D path that we created, Concrete Piles Crane Path. For the alignment, I suggest you to choose Top Z Maximum. And so the crane will be assigned to the Top Z. If we zoom into the activity, so these black marks define keyframes. We can preview the movement of the crane but it does not seem logical so it should rotate in some points. So we, let's go ahead and edit 3D path. Open 3D path properties. Here by going through the keyframes you see these red squares The position of the crane can be redefined. However, we can quickly assign the same tangent of the first keyframe to all keyframes. Select the first row in the list of keyframes, make a right click over it, and choose Share Directions from the selected row to all keyframes by tangent. So this is how is it now. Still inappropriate for some points. For example, the first keyframe, I would like it to be rotated towards the pile construction. Therefore, let's change the rotation of the crane in the first keyframe. I suggest you choosing keyframes from here. Select the first keyframe. The focus time will be at the start of the activity. Make a right click in any field here and select Edit key. You will see the manipulator appear. So change the position of the crane for this keyframe and select Capture keyframe. So the, for the first keyframe, the initial position of the crane will be 
towards the pile construction. Then by moving forward, you see that the crane is rotating. So what we can do, we can copy the first keyframe's orientation and translate it to the second keyframe. Again, make a right click over the keyframe list and select copy key. Go to the next keyframe, make a right click and choose paste rotation. So let's see what we did. We pasted the, the rotation of the crane and now its movement seems more logical. Maybe we can also correct its location in the third keyframe, like that. For the sixth keyframe, we'll also rotate it a bit. And as the last keyframe, also let's change its position. Let's deselect everything, press escape a couple of times, and now press play. The 3D path itself can also be changed, so select the 3D path from here, and choose edit 3D path. Now by going to the, through the keyframes, you can define a new location for the keyframes. Or you can readjust its color. In case you don't want to see the 3D path on the 3D view, make a right click and select Visual Indicators and deactivate 3D path. I suggest you to practice with 3D path and 3D path properties to get better understanding of what these features mean and how they affect the properties of the 3D path, as well as how to work with the keyframe lists.